everyone, David Petrangelo here for the nerdstash.com. I'm going to give a little spoiler-free uh, reaction to going to see The Force Awakens. It was a 10-15 showing. I watched the whole thing and stayed till the end of the credits. It's been about half an hour since I saw it. Uh, maybe not all my thoughts have been fully formulated, but I wanted to give as quick a reaction as I possibly could. As the big Star Wars fan that I am, I'm excited to share my thoughts. Um, you know, as you can see, I got the background behind me. I got my Disney Infinity guys here, um, specifically because it's Star Wars. That's why I picked it up. Uh, it, it's I'm, I'm huge into Star Wars. I, uh, I really, really love it. And like a lot of people, I grew up on it. But uh, this is about the new movie. This is about Episode 7. And my anticipation for the movie was pure excitement. I, I wasn't necessarily nervous. I think I was a little bit worried that it might be a little too like the Star Trek movies. Um, I personally wasn't a massive fan. I might get a little heat for that, but the J.J. Abrams uh, two Star Trek movies didn't really do it for me, um, even the first one. But uh, so I was a little nervous in that way. I wanted it to be a little bit more than that. To me, Star Wars needs to be more than what those movies were. Uh, and, and ultimately, The Force Awakens was. It was more than that and, and, and more, <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's a fun movie. It's a really fun movie. I, I sat there in the, in, the, in the dark waiting for that music to hit, waiting for the John Williams score to just bust right in there. And when it did, my heart was racing. I was smiling ear to ear, pretty much the entire movie actually. And a lot of that is actually because surprisingly, it's a very funny movie. Uh, there's a lot of quips that are in four, five and six. I'm gonna refer to four, five and six more one, because I guess on the storyline, they're most recent, but they're also the ones that people really associate Star Wars with. Um, there, there's a lot of funny stuff in there, but here it seems like there was a lot more laughing in the theater and from myself. That's not a bad thing. It was actually, they're genuine, la genuine laughs. And some of them are callbacks to old movies. Some of them are, uh, you know, new things, just character moments as you build and, and grow with these characters, especially the new ones. Um, you know, seeing old characters is great but they're not the stars of the show and that's not a bad thing either. Uh, they do have a part to play and that's great. Um, they, they have their part and, and they're also funny at the same time, but they're also a good way to sort of tie in the nostalgia. And um, I, I think overall, honestly, the movie is fun. Uh, there's, there's a decent amount of action. It has a little bit of a feel of A New Hope, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It sort of wraps up in a way that would maybe present episode eight to be a little bit like episode five, a little bit like uh, Empire. Again, not a bad thing. Uh, it would have been nice to maybe have it feel a little bit differently, but there's a lot of sort of pieces that add up to feel the same. Um, you know, maybe something a little more unique would have been more unique, but uh, it doesn't hold, hold me back from enjoying the movie, honestly. It's just when I sort of reflect on it, it seemed like there was points that referred a little bit more to four and five than uh, than I would have thought, honestly. Um, but it's good, it's fun. There's a lot happening. Uh, you go from system to system, planet to planet, like you do in the old movies. You you have a lot of fun with these new characters. The acting's great, the new characters are great. Uh, there's a couple points where they try a little too hard to tie it in nostalgia-wise, but for the most part, all that stuff works out really well. I think that, um, that this is Star Wars. It feels like Star Wars. And the prequels didn't necessarily feel that way. And I think that's why they didn't really hit for fans, especially. Um, and I think that this might actually be a movie that, aside from the nostalgia and aside from some of the callbacks to four, five, and six, especially, that, and actually come to think of it, I don't even know if there's any callbacks to one, two, and three. Um, not a bad thing. But, uh, Aside from that stuff, I think this is people that aren't Star Wars fans, people that aren't sure that they would like this movie might still enjoy it. Like, I, I do think that there's a lot here to like. A lot of really good action. It looks fantastic. It's shot very nicely. Um, there's a lot of grander pieces in the movie that probably just weren't capable. They weren't capable of pulling off in four, five, and six. There's a little bit of that in one, two, and three. There's a lot of grand moments. There's only a few grand moments in this, but that's okay because you spend a lot of time, the, the filmmakers spent a lot of time having you get to know these new characters. And that's good because we're gonna be with them for a while, presumably, um, and they're good characters. So there's more to come there. And I think that if you're a Star Wars fan and you're a little bit nervous, 
I've, I'm confident in telling you not to be so nervous. <laughs> so I was a little bit. It was more so excitement for me, like I said, but, but it's a good movie. It's a fun movie. And I, I recommend it. I had a really good time, and it was, for me, one of the best movies I saw this year. Um, you know, people are going to compare it to the old ones for sure, especially 4, 5, 6. But uh, this is a movie that sort of stands on its own in a good way, but also ties into the story and builds upon that in a really, really fun way, a really smart way as well. There's a lot of really cool little moments um, with new characters that feel like callbacks to old characters and those old recognizable uh, individuals and droids that, uh, that everyone knows and loves. So yeah, so The Force Awakens, it was a fun movie. I really enjoyed it and uh, I think that it's going to be something that I'm going to revisit with uh, with some other friends that I, that I didn't see it with tonight. And uh, I think this really gets me excited for episode eight. So job well done, I guess. So uh, that's it. Thanks for uh, listening to my rambling thoughts. And uh, I'll see you at thenerdstash.com. Yeah.